This time I'll call the June 6, 2019 meeting to order for the Dixon County Commission. Would you please stand and join in the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have one addition to the agenda, and that is in regards to considering the approval of the 2019 Solid Waste Management Plan. Is there a motion for... I move to make a motion. Okay. Second. Right. Motion and a second for, uh, to approve the amended agenda. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Consent agenda includes the minutes of the May 30th meeting, fund expenditures of $121,931.66, wire payments, which include KDHE, $15,322.05, utilities, $8,919.73. I move to accept the uh, consent agenda. Second. We have the motion and the second for approval of the consent agenda. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, commission reports, Ron, we'll start with you. Uh, I don't have anything. Okay, Craig? Yeah, I've been, in, I don't know if everybody else got an invitation. The K, uh, Kansas Leadership Center is having a luncheon at uh, Mr. K's next uh, Tuesday. Uh, I haven't RSVP'd yet, but I'm going to go to it. And I didn't know if anybody else had got it or not. Okay. I have a uh, state too, where I think they're going to 30 different stops. We got to take Kansas. Okay. Uh, that's all I have. Um, after our meeting today, there's a D-Day luncheon that I plan to attend out at the Eisenhower uh, Foundation, um, and it has to do really with just uh, some that have contributed to their project. Um, but also, as we stop think and reflect on the D-Day, um, you know, some of the stories that you hear, um, I've got a friend of mine, his father once, uh, he expressed, had told him how he was part of that D-Day invasion. and and how as they were nearing the shore, some of his um, people around him were falling down and um, you know, from, from all the um, gun you know, fire and, and perished right there. And, and um, you, know, you just think of the courage and the bravery, but also the sacrifice uh, for the freedoms we enjoy today. So um, you know, certainly a time to reflect and serve tribute to to uh, those that served and those that serve today. Uh, and I did forget I was going to, I had it and I was going to do it in a work session. Uh, I did take a road trip, uh, went up to the Clay County, Dixon County line, went up to the county line and, and went over to the building site for the Amish or Amish community, wherever it was, and, and looked and see where it was. And evidently, uh, when they bought the property and when they put their drive in, uh, they didn't know where they were putting it in because it's in a bad spot and stuff. I mean, I, I don't know how they figured they were going to get in and out, even if they'd have graveled the road if it snows or anything. But, mm. uh, Might have something to learn. Huh? Yeah. Well, we went up on in Clay County then. There, uh, you get in the, uh, the road to, goes to the left into Wakefield. They're building a building there. Uh, there's up in the pasture across. There's another building up there. <laughs> so it looks like there's about four or five families that building, like I said, it looked like three locations in Clay County, and of course the property up on the county line that's that they're building. So, and I don't know if they, they talked to Tim or anything more about, you know, the, the building permit not being... I, no, they had, we had actually had a meeting yesterday with my staff, Randy, John, Martin, and, and Tim and I, and, and talked about that particular topic. And right. I want to make it very clear when Tim communicates to them that doesn't, just because they got a building does not mean that the road will be improved. So, yeah. And, and the problems that that may present for them in the future. So, it's my understanding they kind of altered their project. Yeah, there wasn't any work uh, when yeah. I went by. Until they determine what they want to do. Yeah. So, we certainly want to encourage them to do whatever they want to, but at the right. same time, it's got to do within the fiscal constraints that we have to deal with with the township and us. So. Okay. Um, that's something we'll continue to follow. Um, as far as there are no petitions or proclamations, would there be any public comment? 
Having no public comment, we'll go ahead and go to our report of county officers. Uh, Brad? Okay, you've got uh, the year-to-date staffing reports in your packet, as well as the budget report on the staffing reports. You can see we've had uh, a couple terminations and people leave us. We also, as I said, we've got another one this morning that I was just notified on the road and bridge. So that leaves Mark with two vacancies in the water down there, and EMS has one. Uh, we do have four kids working for summer help now, uh, four, or actually five, I guess. Randy has one helping him part time, and then we've got four that Martin's hired uh, in life. In fact, he's so short handed. And they've worked out very well so far. And he said they're hard workers, and they follow instructions, and pretty sharp. So we're, we're very pleased with that. So that would help him and his dilemma a little bit. So. But we continue to search and recruit good staff. So on the budget report, everything looks good. Uh, no, nothing alarming. And as Lynn noted uh, before we started the meeting, our sales tax is pleasantly up. Year to date, we're at $109,000 uh, in sales to collections, which is uh, about 5000 higher than it was at this time last year. Uh, and then, of course, incrementally, the sales, special sales tax is up as well, about $6,000 more. So we'd like to see that. Uh, no alarms in any of the budgets in any departments. Of course, it's still fairly, fairly new in the, or early in the year. So. We did purchase uh, unleaded fuel this week. Uh, Robson and MTC were the two bidders. Uh, 207 is what Robson uh, was to get the bid. MTC was 212, so it was a considerable difference between the two. Typically, that tells us that fuel's either going up or going down at, the, at the, almost the very minute that we're bidding it. So, from the appearance of the fuel price on the pumps in town, it was going down. So, we were fortunate that uh, we called, made the phone call, and we did against them. Uh, we do have some preliminary numbers on the flooding. I don't have anything official to print and give to you yet, but it's looking as though with uh, as of the 30th of last month, the tube replacements we'll have to do, the rock that we've had done so far, uh, equipment, uh, material, and salaries, and the sand that we purchased for sandbagging and stuff, uh, were at about $72,529. So $559, I'm sorry. We still don't have numbers in for what EMS uh, accrued having a staff and enterprise. Uh, we'll add, add a little bit to it. I still think we're going to be, I, I told uh, John Anderson on the radio, I thought we were, my ballpark shoot from the hip number was about 100 grand so far. I think that's still going to be fairly close. Uh, but as we as we go here in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to give you a, a written report that details exactly where we're at on that. Uh, exactly, and knowing at that point, it's over, so there's no additional cost. As I mentioned a little bit ago, we still have some debris cleanup and stuff, and we still got some of these culvert stuff to replace. But we're not getting in any hurry to get that done because if the water comes back up again, uh, it would be wasted. So the waters do continue to go down. They're getting down closer to where they're almost normal, and so we feel a lot better about that. However, if you watch the media at all, all of our lakes are, are at the brim, and uh, so. If we get any rain at all, other than soaking in, there's no place for it to go but to come down our tributaries into the river. So we still keep our fingers crossed for some degree. To some degree, uh, good news this week: we did receive two additional grants uh, from U.S. Fish and Wildlife for fish passage projects next year. Uh, John Goff had applied for those and did the paperwork. That equates to seventy-two thousand dollars that they will provide us for materials on those two bridges. That's uh, that's a, a good a good re uh, receipt. That's what, about what we got this year for two, and that's what Mark's trying to finish up, uh, get those done before we're out of that season. So uh, they've treated us well and, and continue to do so. So we're doing well. Purple Wave auction this week. Uh, all of our items except for the ambulance were on the auction this week, the old ambulance, uh, and it yielded nineteen thousand two hundred seventy-two dollars. Uh, that was the two sheriff's Tahoes, the old Tahoes, and then we had the two semis, the tractors were on there that we retired, and some other smaller items. So uh, the, the four vehicles brought, well, three of the four vehicles brought pretty good money. The old Sterling uh, semi tractor didn't bring much at all. We knew it wouldn't because it was in pretty bad shape. So we certainly got our money's worth out of that one before we retired it. So I think that's all I've got, Mr. Hayne. 
you have any questions? I was out at the landfill. Uh, who's the company that's bailing the? Oh, uh, Christner. Yeah, Randy did tell me yesterday. Okay. Christner did come in again. Uh, you know, we, it was questioner, questionable whether or not he was going to be able to continue because of some staffing issues he's having too, and health issues that he's having. Uh, but he, he's in there and, and he's bailing. Apparently got some help and he's out there working to bail our metal pile, which if you've been by there, it's pretty good yeah. size. Wow. So uh, he did tell Randy the price of uh, processed steel right now is only about $75 a ton, which is about $25 down from what we would normally get. But we've got so much, we got to get rid of it. So. so we'll have some revenue coming in off that here in the next few weeks. So. Yeah, I saw the truck that was doing the bailing was from Hayes. I didn't know that was for, you know, that was picking it up and putting in the baler and stuff. So you evidently. Hired somebody to do that for him. He might have. Yeah, yeah I don't know because I. That's when I saw that. We were we were looking for somebody else to do it because yeah. uh, Krishner had told Randy that he didn't think he could yeah. do it anymore, yeah. and uh, well, he know. showed up and started yeah. doing it. Yeah. So. Okay, thank you. Now Doug was in here earlier, and I don't think he had anything. In he particular. did not. Uh, he had a court hearing at eleven o'clock, so he didn't think he'd be back. So. <laughs> and I should have mentioned earlier. Um, during the work study, we did come in again at 8 o'clock and we went through some of the budget um, information and had uh, different departments present their budgets. Um, also, uh, and Janelle's here, and so we had discussion on that. And then I was going to mention that uh, this, this past weekend, the Solomon Festival took place, and it's quite a celebration over there for that town. And, you know, one of the things is um, Solomon. Um, Corp uh, has a pancake uh, feed that they do for the community, but I had a chance to see Tom Hammer and um, thank him for some of the help that he's done there in the community. But you know, specifically um, when they were doing some of the sandbags and trying to get materials there for the potential flooding, um, I think he's one of the um, companies. Uh, their company stepped up to try to help. And um, while I mentioned that, you know, I know there's. If you try to list and thank all the people, um, lots of people step forward, and I think the the volunteerism and uh, the way neighbors help neighbors and communities help communities, um, it's great to see the teamwork there uh, and how people step up when needs do arise. Okay, uh, notices and communications. I didn't have anything. Did anyone else have anything they received or would want to bring up? I don't have anything. The only thing you mentioned, Lynn, was uh, the, and I think we were going to put on the agenda and we may have failed, but deciding on that money that uh, we would give the EDC oh, Steve, for the, to distribute right. out to, if they wanted to grant that out to the to festivals. For the festivals. Mm -hmm. we, we're kind of behind on solvents now, obviously, but uh, I, I think Janelle was going to recommend $6,500 of that being given to the EDC that could be used for grants to the, to the, fe to the festivals and the communities. That's something you want to make a decision on, or what have you. What, what most of those are coming up, and the rest right. of right, and not that Solomon couldn't use it to pay some of their bills or mm -hmm. pay for next year, of course. But okay, um, I, I mean, I'd be willing to go ahead and, and discuss that and act, have action on it. It's kind of a housekeeping item. Um, if yeah, if well, the others are what brought it up is uh, you know, I were going to uh, slide last week from North Central Regional Planning Commission, and I asked. And, I, and she didn't realize that we hadn't uh, done anything with it. You know, we usually allocate out of the 12,500, whatever it is, for travel tourism uh, that, you know, that, that we hadn't designated that yet to go over there. Okay, so, so we budgeted it for it, Ron and, and Lynn. It's so it's just a matter it's, of. It's formally need to do yeah, that. Sure. And, you and getting back to the, and if you've heard this story before, I apologize, I am getting older. <laughs> that uh, when the some the Ken Sapper Festival quit having it. Uh, we decided to, as commissioners, uh, to uh, designate it to go to the festivals and stuff. So, help each community. Yeah. What is the amount on that, Brad? In or the past, I think you had given five thousand dollars to the EDC, and then they distributed it out, uh, which was typically five hundred dollars per community. Janelle suggested sixty-five hundred because they do have a couple other uh, Eisenhower Foundation yeah. and Aspen That's Stone awesome. and, yeah. and stuff. So. Or if they give a little bit more to each community, it wouldn't hurt anything. Right. Like Craig said, the money is there. We don't spend it on the sampler anymore, yeah. and it, it helps one of the, each one of those communities. 
and, and you know that small investment probably turns over a number of times and and what it does for the community and the, and the people coming to town and buying fuel and snacks and whatever they do so okay but well i think we can formalize that yeah so. um is there a motion for the 6500 i'll make a motion for the 6500 dollars to be dispensed to the communities yeah second okay we have the motion the second for 6500 dollars uh, to formalize that any other discussion uh for ron's benefit the reason we went through is to the edc which is to give them some more exposure and rather than tying up janelle or somebody else is in the office here to, to be able to handle that money okay and we kind of give offer direction on it yep. so sure okay all in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed motion carries <coughs> the only other thing we have here is um well actually two things we have to consider the update to the county policy um 607 for drug and alcohol testing brad do you want to summarize that yes uh, every every year diane goes through our policies across the board and make sure that we're compliant with any state or federal regulations and mandates that we have to abide by this particular one has to deal with uh, any of our personnel that have uh, commercial driver's licenses and their compliance with the uh, federal guidelines uh, so uh, the only department we have that has cdls is urban bridge and uh, the primary changes that the federal government has made this year have to do with the uh, alcohol and drug testing uh, regulations and if you pay attention to the media at all there's a lot of uh, a lot of exposure talking about hemp and hemp products and CBD oils and what they do for people and does it test positive if, if you use CBD oil on a muscle ailment will you test positive for marijuana or if you won't and this kind of deals with some of those issues uh, but it it's a requirement that we have to uh, follow the federal guidelines when it comes to commercial driver's licenses so this updates our policy to match that okay is there a motion to adopt that part of the county policy so move second we have the motion the second that we do update the county policy for drug and alcohol testing any further discussion all in favor say aye. aye aye opposed motion carries the other item we have is the uh, 2019 solid waste management plan to approve that and that's more of just a housekeeping item brad yes uh, we're required by law under state law to have a solid waste management plan uh, we do have one that was updated in 2015 it's required to be reviewed each year and we have to submit to kdhe that it was reviewed uh, there have been no changes on it since last year so we're sending in the 2015 plan along with the letter saying it was reviewed with no changes and there's three copies there for you guys to sign to go to the various entities that we have to report to any questions from the commission on that is there a motion for i move we approve the 2019 solid waste management plan and i second we have the motion the second for approval of the 2019 solid waste management plan any other discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed motion carries and if there's no other business i'd entertain a motion for adjournment i'll make a motion to adjourn i'll second it any further discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. are you an aye aye excuse me opposed motion carries we're adjourned <laughs>